is an episode, guys, that it's similar to the one of the ones that we've done prior to this. So the whole idea was um, behind this was, you know, I talk about her being food motivated at times and sometimes not. And that has varied over the last several weeks and now into months. Um, she she seemed to be motivated when we would do kibble type stuff. She She's not real f- aggressive with food, meaning she doesn't eat um, like my labs do. She She's slower. Um, she's a little pickier when they're eating. I give her a little bit more time with it. Um, she, I'd like her to eat a little bit more personally, and she doesn't always eat a lot at feeding times. That's a different issue. With this, as far as this, um, and it's not really an issue, but it's a different situation. You can see here I've got a little helper with me today with this session. You can hear the puppies in the background. Um, the pups were pretty young at that point. Um, we're simply going through another night. Uh, this is in the evening. It's another opportunity to do some repetition of getting her a little bit fired up to run out and come back. And it's totally connected to the idea of retrieving. Um, I had run into some struggles with her finding the desire to want to chase down the dummy and bring it back to me and even pick it up in the first place. So I looked at it and I just said, okay, I think this is a relatively simple thing that usually happens very easily for my retrievers. It's not right now with this dog. And so I looked at it more like it it sounds silly, but a complex thing. Well, there's parts to it. So first off, dogs got to run down and get it, chase it down. Second thing it has to do is it has to pick it up. Third thing it has to do is it brings it back. So as simple as a retrieve is, if you're if you're struggling to get it the complete thing, I think the way to look at doing it is break it down into pieces. And so that one day that I accidentally threw some food for her and saw her look like a lab chasing a you know chasing a dummy down she, that's really what tripped it in my mind was she looks like my retrievers going out to get a retrieve when I throw a little piece of kibble it was fun to her and it was a fun game and it was an opportunity to tie something good to this idea of retrieving so that's what we did and we did it several times um, over the course of a couple weeks there we did this drill and exercise and then we would alternate it with a dummy and you'll see some of that video as well in this series but we just went back and forth and then I quit doing the food thing the food thing was a very temporary thing and all I was trying to do was um, piggyback on what she showed me she liked and so that kind of turned into like this this uh, uh, what it did was it gave me the ability to kind of unlock some stuff inside of her and link it together meaning chase out pick up bring back Now this is a part two when she had real hesitation when it came to our furnace. When our furnace would kick in, she didn't want to go by the vent. So she used to be afraid of the dishwasher. She used to be afraid of the vacuum cleaner. She used to be afraid of the vent when the vent would come on. So we literally had to like just work through some of this stuff. Right now we're still going through some concerns with she, her having hearing vehicles and motors running. So we're just slowly getting past. Like right now I can vacuum next to her. This is several weeks later that this happens, but we slowly get her used to some of these things that intimidate her. So right here I'm setting her next to a vent that's blowing air and making sound. Surprise gonna stay over there. I'll keep it here. Come on. Let me come over here. 
I know, but she doesn't want to come by this. Come on. Here, Lillian, you come over here. I got away from giving her food when she came back to me, but we went back to it here. Just getting her to come by that vent when the heater was running it was a big step. So, yeah, I'll give you a little kick for it if that's what it takes to get you over the, over the edge. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. One thing that has impressed me also with Makina to this point is I think she's done it better than... What I think I see historically and traditionally with my labs is she focuses on the task with distractions probably better at a young age. Like, really impressive to me that other dogs in the room, all the stuff that potentially, like, I've had dogs that would have a hard time working and not wanting to run around in our house. Like, she has the ability to get in the living room. She could go down the hallway. She could go all over the place. She stays pretty focused with me. Those are yeah. So, the biggest thing I think right now that we can talk about, I got cameras going, so I'm talking to the camera, is the simple thing like this heat vent going <clears throat> is making a huge barrier for her, a big hurdle, a big challenge. Once she gets on place, I never so call her off, so we will go get her, take her off. Something new. Like that. We recognize that you know, that could be an issue. So, so I can't even get her to come seat. to me when put the for place food, when that thing's going. So this is a good example of a lesson that I didn't I didn't think we were gonna work on something like this. I thought it would go a lot smoother. My plan going into it was throw her food for her. Let her run down, pick it up, bring it back, which we probably could get pretty good uh, results if I sat down there and did it. But right away we noticed the issue with the heat. So I changed my mind. Instead, we're going to figure out how to get her comfortable by something new. Come on. Good girl. That's it. Good girl. There. Good job. Look how she just, she will, will hardly reach out beyond me. Good. So, game changes now. Game just says, go over there and get it. Good. You can give it to her. Good girl. Good girl. She's a little spooky about stuff. She's spooky about the dishwasher when the dishwasher's running. She's spooky about the heat vent when the heat vent's running. She's just sensitive. Good. So, this is a well, The other thing with this episode that I noticed, I didn't notice it until now. I didn't notice it in the moment. But I'm, I'm it, noticing Dad. it watching so all this is, is, is getting her to the value having in having Lillian be a part of it, especially towards the end okay, here. Don't feed her anymore, she, she, I didn't really pay attention to it. I didn't notice it then. But look at how she shook the bowl of food. She sensed that, you know, my dog, this little dog is sticking away from us, won't come to us. So what did she do? She, she did the same thing Dad does. And so, like, I think that this, I talk a lot about cultural impacts and how we adjust and adapt to what we're around. And this is a perfect example of little ones do the same thing, kids. So I'm actually seeing the dogs do better with Lillian being involved. And Lillian is more capable to get the pup to kind of warm up and get comfortable. So that's really interesting for me to see. Push her after through and get her to work by this. And, but we can't, here. So we're gonna take our time and let her come to us. So the lesson changed, that's all. Good. So in case you can't hear, I mean, obviously you can't see it right now, but this heat vent is right here.
and the furnace is running and she's nervous about it. So two days ago when I tried doing retrieving stuff in here, the sunlight came in through that window and made a clear window, you know, edge of sunlight. And she wouldn't go across the shadow barrier because she was nervous about it. You just get some more. Get some more. She likes it? Yeah, yeah. pick her up. She doesn't fight it. I think that's a submissive thing, which I like. But if I put all four feet down, she's going to want to squirm out of here. And I don't want her to. Can you scooch over just a little bit? Because I'm going to put her right here. Once her feet hit the floor, she'll feel a little bit more prone to want to scoot, I think. Okay, get a piece of food ready. So there, she's too nervous. Okay, just hang on. Good girl. Here. She won't take it. She's too nervous. So let's just put her right here. A little pet. Scratch you? Yeah. Okay. Too nervous for the food, so we're just gonna have her. Settle. No, she doesn't want it right now. She's nervous because of the back. Good. Good. Yeah, tell her how good she is. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, let her go for a second. See how her tail's tucked in? She's scared. No, let back up a little bit. Okay, give her some space. Lillian, back up a little. There you go. Good job. Good. Good. Take a piece of food. And just hang on to it in case she wants it. Good. Oh. Good girl. No. Good girl. Did she take it? Did she take it? Yeah. Good job. Likes it. Yeah. It's, it's just washing the water. So you can see I was holding her back. Yeah, I was holding her back for most of that. And then I just, she settled in. She took a piece of food from Lillian. I just slowly release the pressure of holding on to her. Now she's standing on her own now. Now she's pretty tense. She'd like to move. Good. Go ahead, grab another piece of food. gets in the way of stuff. If I can't get her to be comfortable in this place where all of a sudden there's a furnace vent blowing hot air. She she can't operate. So we gotta get her comfortable with stuff. Slowly but surely. Good dog. Yeah, she's doing way better. scares her. She's doing better. And Good girl. I scare her. The dishwasher scares her. 
Yeah. Now that she realizes it's not so bad, hold on, we're gonna, you can give her that one. But that'll be it for a second. I'm gonna let her, if she wants to walk off, I might even walk her off, and then come back and see if I can get her to come back here. Yeah, she's a little nervous, then all of a sudden her tail goes up when she gets away because she likes it more. Let's sit right here with Come here. 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 Come Come here. 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 hesitant as long as she doesn't put her tail down and scooch off.
food is powerful with her, but it's not that powerful. It's not too powerful. It's not powerful enough to get through everything. So let's take a little step. No, honey, back here. Back here. You, with your butt. Good job. Good. Just wanted to go over my leg. Sometimes sessions are really simple like that. A lot of times they are. 